this part of the story begins more than a thousand miles away in the shadow of San Francisco's Golden Gate. California, famous for being the richest state in the richest country in the world. It seems a long way from Juana and her Mayan settlement in southeastern Mexico. But her future will in part depend on some of the people here. This is where the money will be raised to finance her loan. Namaste Direct, the organization behind this part of the deal, is based in the city. It raises money for microcredit banks like El Sol in Mexico. It is the brainchild of a Californian businessman whose efforts have been vital in turning around the lives of thousands of women. I was a guy who uh, had a pretty successful business career and I uh, made a vow that when I got to be 50, I was going to spend half my time and wealth on uh, philanthropy and service. I really had the germination of the idea in Guatemala in uh, 1973 when I saw how poor people were living, rural poor, Mayan poor, and that really struck me. And that's our mission is to bring women, thousands of women, into some microcredit system. When Bob Graham met Pilar Garcia, he knew Al Sol was the way to channel money from his donors in California to women like Juana in Mexico. Al Sol is a, a wonderful, wonderful organization that was started here in Chiapas by a, a warm-hearted, astute woman. Her, her heart is with the women out there in the, those hills. I'm saying Al Sol has the well, the goal, the, the responsibility of giving to this little part of the world an opportunity to, to, to build a better one. So the money raised by Namaste Direct becomes seed capital for Al Sol to give out loans to first-time borrowers of Mayan origin. The way Namaste Direct works is to assemble donations from private citizens into piles of $25,000. And when we get a pile of $25,000 here, we send the loan funds that we've received down to an NGO in uh, Guatemala or Mexico to provide loan capital to at least 100 new borrowers, women who have never had loans before. It is from this pool of money that Juana hopes to get her $180 business loan that could turn her life around. When we last visited Chiapas in Mexico, Juana had applied for credit to help build up her traditional embroidery business. She was loaned 2,000 pesos, or $180, which she invested into materials to make blouses. She is planning to sell them to tourists at the local crafts market in San Cristobal de las Casas. She's optimistic that she can make a success of her new business. <laughs> And if she can make the business work, she knows her life could be transformed. Tapas like nata, alihman lek, ulahes, 
Al Sol, the institution that lends money to women like Juana, gets some of its capital from a fundraising organization called Namaste Direct, but that's based more than 2,000 miles away in San Francisco. One of Namaste's newest recruits is Sonny Mahunt. He's left a high-powered job as a senior manager with Cisco Systems to help women like Juana in Mexico. He's trading in a five-figure monthly paycheck in Silicon Valley to work for free at Namaste Direct. Yeah, so I guess I've been working at Cisco now for uh, almost nine years or so until, until about a month and a half ago. Um, I've been meaning to do something more, more meaningful for a while. Certainly getting a paycheck at a corporate job is great, but I do find that working at Namaste Direct and, and essentially helping, uh, uh, helping end poverty is, is just such a bigger challenge. It's, it seems to be so much more fulfilling. Uh, could you take a look at this uh, proposal for a second, please? Coming from one of America's top corporations, Sonny's business skills are a huge asset to this charitable organization. His commitment has impressed the man who runs it. He said, well, I'm resigning from Cisco Systems, and I'm going to come and volunteer for you full time. And I said, you're going to come and volunteer full time for a year or two? And he says, yeah, let's, let's try it. And I said, let's try it. Hip, hip, hooray. He is one smart fellow, I want to tell you. He's got a good heart, which is the most important thing. So he's got a... Uh, a, a proclivity and appetite for this kind of work. The guy is going to be a star in microcredit, mark my words. Sonny lives with his wife, Ghidra, in an affluent San Francisco suburb. His life couldn't be more different from the simple poverty of the women that Namaste Direct supports in rural Mexico, as a look at his household bills shows all too clearly. We have. Um the cell phone bill. Well, oh, this one's your cell phone. It was $226, this one. Um, yeah, just because I was calling to Lithuania. Oh, yeah, okay. Sonny pays an average of $350 every month on utilities alone. By U.S. standards, that is not unusual. Okay, this one is electricity and heating, and this one is $153 this month. It only takes a fraction of that amount to kickstart a woman's entire business venture in Chiapas. With as little as $180, Juana's life, for example, could be transformed forever. A sum Sonny spends every couple of months on parking tickets alone. Well, this was the parking ticket I got. It is $65. So $65 to city of San Francisco. Ghidra has been with Sonny for more than six years and she's happy he's taking the plunge. My wife, I mean, she's, she's been very supportive. She's always um, sort of encouraged me actually to try this out and, you know, and see how it works out and actually see if it actually makes us happier. I really appreciate that she's been very supportive of, of me trying this out. Sunny wants to understand the dramatic impact microcredit can have on people's lives. So he's joining Namaste Direct on a trip to meet the borrowers in Chiapas. I guess we're going down to Chiapas um, uh, for next week, and I'm not sure what I expect to see or find there. Melissa Clark is a long-standing supporter of Namaste Direct. She's been to Chiapas before and is passionate about the possibilities of being a force for change even in small ways. I think that we can all make a difference by buying the goods that these women are making. I mean, basically, we're going to be helping them and their families by buying the goods that they make. And they're beautiful. So get your Christmas list together. And I mean, the average cost of a beautiful item is $2. 
For two dollars. Two, do two what dollars. Can you buy for two dollars? You could buy a key ring. You could buy an eyeglass case. You could buy a pot holder, but you, by buying the the artisan goods, you're helping the women. There is a belief among these Californians that through their fundraising efforts, they can help sustain the culture of the Mayan Indians. Such beautiful people that I really could see their culture thriving through the years. And we're just at the beginning right now, which is really exciting.